Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so there's a lot of growth that has been coming in for you. You are establishing a firm foundation as far as your work and career goes. You can see these really nice big trees over there. So whatever you're working on is building your career. It's making you progress. And your path is opened there. It seems like you're walking down your career path and there's no hindrances, uh, nothing uh, to um, you know uh, come against you, really. You're feeling a bit stuck in wherever you are at. Uh, maybe you feel as though you've reached some kind of barrier. Uh, maybe you're feeling stuck in this particular job at this particular moment. You've got the patience card over here, so there's a very uh, great need for you to be planning up, being very strategic at what, at what you do, and having the patience, things will come your way, because your path is open there. Now, in the past, you've got a lot of self-doubt going on over here. You are second-guessing yourself, but you've l learned a lot. You've got a lot of experience under your belt, so you need to use that, put that into play, really, uh, in order for you to move forward on this career path. Now, wealth is coming to you over here. You just have to have faith. Uh, it's going to be coming in in for you here. So even though you feel like you may have reached some kind of obstacle, it looks like wealth is coming in. That pathway is open. You are establishing yourself. You are getting that security, uh, financial security, and wealth is going to be coming your way. So hang in there. Just have a lot more faith and just be a bit more positive about whatever the outcome is going to be. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm drawing cards from the Bright Idea deck for the main read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the boldness card or the strength card coming in over there. So you are dealing with maybe toxic people going on around you, uh, you know, maybe uh, causing a lot of problems for you there. Now, you have the ability to overcome the situation. You can see this man stomping out this uh, toxic energy, the snake energy, and he's got that uh, dumbbell in his hand over there showing his strength of character, strength of power. And he's seeing things very, very clearly because he's taken off those glasses that are rose-tinted. So, you know, you need to, maybe it's a reality check kind of situation. You need to know who is on your side and who isn't. And any kind of negative energy or negative people, you need to, um, you know, get them out of your arena really uh, ignore them or uh, you know um, show them that you have the ability uh, to stand up for yourself and uh, don't let people walk all over you so what's going on with you you've got the uh, empress card over here which is excellent the nurturing card and the feeling and instinct card so this is the uh, queen of swords over here so you are feeling a bit um shaky really uh, not really knowing uh, you know what's coming in for you you are going by instinct maybe things have not quite been revealed now with the queen of swords uh, being the energy here behind this card it's talking about you taking control of that situation showing people who's boss don't let any emotional um, baggage um, you know hinder you uh, you need to even though people seem to be you know getting on with things around you and seem to be making a lot more progress you are getting there slowly and um, you know even though you're, you're proceeding pretty cautiously at this particular moment um, you are getting to the end you know of whatever this problem is or whatever issues that you are dealing with um, and you're doing it quite successfully you're relying on yourself as well and it looks like it's going to bring in a lot of abundance so whatever you've been working on you can see she's prepared these biscuits here and she's waiting uh, so abundance is coming in the doors will open for you uh, because the uh, the Empress card brings in uh, abundance it brings in wealth it brings in uh, a lot of authority and power the uh, Empress card is the queen uh, of the all the queens in the uh, tarot deck so this is about achievement and achieving wealth and success as well so even though you're going by instinct and you're having to do it by yourself and um, you know having to you proceeding very, very cautiously, it looks like success is coming in there for you. But you do need to show people that you have the strength uh, and you do need to show people that you have the ability to be able to conquer this problem. The um, card at the 
below that was the doing or illumination cards. So whatever ideas you're bringing into the situation is really very innovative. Whatever you're doing is really, um, you know, exceptional. And uh, you just have to have a lot more confidence in yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Now, you have been working very, very hard over here. You know, you have all the right tools. You're doing everything and you're putting a lot of effort in uh, into this work and you've learned a lot as well this is the uh, temperance card of here and this is getting a control of that situation so you have been uh, working pretty hard learning a lot as well but you are very much an expert at what you do so whatever you've been working on you've been working on as i said very hard this is the nine of rods and this is showing that uh, you know that project has now come to an end you are releasing it out into the world for it to uh, uh, be maybe assessed or you're waiting for returns so she's releasing this um, this dove in and this is a new moon cycle starting over here so although you know whatever projects you've been working with had a lot of difficulties it looks like you've completed it now successfully and you are going to be you know you've just released it out for people to assess it and you're hoping that it brings in the rewards um, you're pretty motivated. This is the Ace of Cups, and you want a new offer to come in. So whatever work you're doing, you want it to bring success for you. Uh, you know, you want it. You want success with that gold cup over there. You're willing to put into the the work over there. Um, you know, you've got everything under control over here, and you're hoping for some kind of offer to come in with that Ace of Cups. You've got the three of rods over here. This is the action card over here. So whatever you're doing, this is going into the future. You might actually even be doing a lot of travel, a lot of collaborating. It looks like this project is going to be successful, whatever it is you're doing, uh, because the three of rods is about, um, you know, um, putting that um, idea or putting that work out and it bringing in um, success. You know, the ship's coming in really. And a great transformation coming in. There's a lot of flowers along your path. What's important to realize is that, you know, you put in the hard work with that sun in the back, but that a pathway is pretty much open for you over there. So you could be doing a lot of travel as well and collaborating with a lot of people on that international front over there. The Rods Cards is about overseas people or people, um, you know, on a, on a global scale. So there you have a conclusion of that particular project as well. So whatever you have been working on, um, you know, you are very anxious about it as well. This is the Nine of Swords over here. So it's reached its end. You're very, very anxious uh, uh, to see whether or not it's going to be successful. You've put in a lot of effort into it. Now, you've got the preservation card over here. So you are a bit worried about money over here. You are hanging on to things, onto your finances. Uh, you are watching how you spend. This is a card also about letting go of things, uh, old ideas, and embracing the new as well. Maybe taking some advice from people. You've got a lot of focus on that career with that sun in Capricorn over there. Uh, but maybe you need to think outside the box to come up with some brand new ideas on how to solve problems or how to get the money in there. This is also about financial security coming in for you here. Now, you are worried that whatever you have been doing may not be as you planned. Maybe this is a lot of self-criticism as well. You, the cake has not come out quite uh, as you know you wanted it to. But you know you, you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Whatever you've do, you're doing is going to be successful. So it is pretty good. Uh, so uh, you know stop stressing about that. So. Going to the future and the final outcome, you've got the feeding comfort card, the learning motivation card, and feeling the overwhelmed card. Now, the feeding comfort card is the queen of pentacles, so money is coming in over here, and you're reaching the top. You're going to be able to be uh, enjoying the fruits of your labor. It's also a time for you to go and take a bit of a rest uh, and get in touch with yourself again um, after working so hard. So whatever position is coming in is going to be something of leadership, and it's going to give you a lot more free time as well. Uh, there might be some new kind of, uh, you know, study coming in. This this is the card of information learning. Uh, it is the page of uh, page of swords over here. So spending a lot more time doing research, um, and maybe whatever job you're doing is going to require you to uh, take on some extra courses or extra learning as well. Whatever this new job is with this Queen of Pentacles over here, um, and this is the end of you feeling overwhelmed as well so maybe whatever has been going on whatever difficult situation this is the ten of cups uh, that has got you down this comes to an end here um, you know you need to just get everything in check uh, make sure that you're on top of it emotionally and don't let everything uh, you know get to you so don't let people get under your skin don't let people walk all over you you need to be very very bold in um, everything that you say and do because whatever you're doing is pretty good um, you know it, you've got that um, 
illumination card over here. So uh, it seems like you know your light is brighter than everybody else's over here. So what you're doing is pretty good, uh, and it's very very um, uh, innovative as well. Uh, so the end of a difficult cycle where you were feeling quite overwhelmed. It looks like it's further study coming in with this new job that is coming in, and you've got that Princess of Pentacles, or the Queen of Pentacles rather, coming in over there. So this job is going to be, you know, where you're in charge. Uh, you have a lot more authority and a lot more money coming in as well, because that is a money card. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the um, Fairy Tarot for the um, Oracle read. So, interestingly enough, the strength card comes in as well, and it says that, um, you know, you need uh, to have uh, strength and grace to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, a time to embrace how wonderful you are. So, it's really important for you to act with a lot of confidence, and look at all your achievements, don't look at any failures, because you have achieved quite a bit over there. So you can overcome any kind of obstacle, but you must stand up and act with confidence. You've got the Ten of Summer over here, which is the same as that um, uh, Ten of Cups there. And this is talking about emotionally fulfilling life and uh, people you can trust. So this is the end of that difficult situation. You had a lot of emotional turmoil, a lot of problems, but it looks like that is now come to an end there with that Ten of Summer. And you've got that Four of Spring, so be grateful. You have much to celebrate a contented personal life. So with the Four of Spring, this is also about being victorious in that particular situation, laying down found foundations and even um, collaborating with a lot of people on the international front, uh, maybe doing a lot more travel as well with that Four of Spring. So you are going to be doing a lot of collaboration with the Three of Actions, which is the same as the Three of Rods, and it looks like success is going to be coming in with that Four of Spring or the Four of Rods there. So whatever this old situation is, it's coming to an end. You have been working quite diligently. You are waiting for things to come. Uh, with that Empress and it will come in over here because you've got that Queen of Pentacles coming in over there showing that you know you are achieving this is a money card so that is coming but this new job that you're going to be getting or whatever new thing you're going to be doing even if it's a promotion it's going to require further study uh, and it's also going to be you know where you're working a lot by yourself very independent working um, so it's going to be uh, and also there's an end of that cycle so it's going to be pretty good uh, you know that money is coming in especially with that Four of Pentacles it looks like you know, a financial security is now being established. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.